Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm going to share with you this stack of books that I picked up at the clearance, at the Goodwill Clearance Center this past weekend, and um, let me just get into it because I don't want to make it too long. First of all, I found another one of these Time Life Encyclopedias of Gardening, and um, this one is Foliage Houseplants. Now, every one of these books I picked up at the Goodwill Clearance Center, so I paid uh, two dollars for five of them so I believe I've got about 20 here so I really only spent uh, about ten dollars on all this yep yeah. so I'm so excited and um, this uh, I had shared some books I had found elsewhere for 50 cents on this like this and look at these pages I'm just loving 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 this book again ready-made tags and great pages I just saw a big picture look at these so uh, this will be I think the third book that I have of these but I found that there's about 30 or so in the series so I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for these books because look at this cover it makes a beautiful uh, cover for a journal right or a glue book or a, a big art journal like this so, because, you know, the actual book doesn't even have any words on it. It's just a beautiful picture. And this is the dust jacket. And look, I found this inside of it. Of course. It's got a note on it. Looks like somebody's uh, list of something. And it's like a placemat. Check it out. Pretty cool. So, a little bonus there. It's always fun to find stuff tucked in books. So, that's the first book. And I'm not, I'm going in no particular order, just whatever's up here. Then I found this cute little book. It's not vintage or anything. It's the Italian cooking um, cookbook. And the reason I picked it up is because look at these lovely images in here. So this one, like I said, it's not vintage. It's from 2000, where is the copyright? 2005. But I just found these I flipped through it and there was just some really cute images in here that I thought I could use or maybe share. Um, now, some of these books, you know, I, I've been talking about these stash and I keep buying books, right? But some of these I thought, you know what, if I can't use them, I know I'm going to be doing an auction here eventually. I just have to figure out with my family what time is going to work for me. Um... And I thought these were just too good to pass up. And if I cannot use them, I will certainly be passing them along. And um, if you did not visit my last auction or, um, you know, see the replay or what have you, I start my bids at a dollar. So I would be totally be fine letting any of these go for a dollar because um, I want to share with my peeps out there with you guys. Okay. I you saw me haul a book like this recently. I could not resist to pick it up again. And I mentioned I would always pick this up. Now, this is a newer newer uh, version here. It's dedicated in 1992. It says purchase from Reader's Digest. Hmm. Um, so this is a newer version. And the pages are newer and crisper and whiter. But the images in here are still gorgeous. It's the same book. This will be the third book I own of this. The first one is almost, it's actually, it's completely gutted. And um, I'm still cutting out some of the pictures and stuff. The second one, I haven't gotten into it yet. But I will definitely be cutting up as well. And this one, I'm going to share with somebody out there um, in my next live sale. So, there's that. Then... Along those same lines, I got this book of needlepoint. Love this dust jacket. Book itself is just plain green, but I just love these images in here to use in junk journals. Again, as pages or as you know, to make little tags or ephemera or embellishments. Especially the little, the little samples. These little samples are awesome. So, and there's a lot of those type of pages, and I just love the paper, and, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the little black sheep. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, that was me, the little black sheep. <laughs> okay, 
yeah, so I could not resist that book. And I'm not sure. I have another book similar to that that I'm uh, drawing from. So I may actually share this. Not sure yet if I'm going to use it myself. These I picked up. They had a whole collection of these. And I could not get them all because actually I don't even know why they had them there and not throw them in the trash. Because unfortunately some of them were so... They had gotten water damaged. And if you can see this one has a little bit of warping from water damage. But some of the others they had, I mean, you could see the mold. It was gross. So I didn't see any mold on this. I saw that it had been water damaged. But, um, again, probably not for somebody to want to keep in their bookshelf. But look at these images for cutting up. So I thought, oh, for 40 cents, I so definitely want to take some of these images to use in junk journals show you the one there's one page that I really really got excited about maybe it was in the other book but yeah aren't these awesome so um, again I may be sharing this but my idea was look what awesome pages for junk journals <laughs> family photo and even the cover if you wanted to use you know it's kind of like a faux leather vinyl cover and this one is The Ranchers by Time Life Books. I remember when these were being advertised when I was a kid. And then this is The Cowboys. Yeah, this is the one that had those pages. I wanted to, I was excited about. Um, see again, warped with uh, water damage here. But look at these. Aren't these awesome? These little posters from the rodeo. And there's another one there. Look at those cowboys. This is so awesome. Yeah, I, I love all of these images. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Okay, so not, but there was, where's that page? Where's that page? It had like little, like ready made tags in it. Again, look at these beautiful drawings. Oh. Of course, now I can't find it. Pretty awesome. Anyway, all of these pages would be really good in junk journals. It's got to be like right around here. I know. Oh, here it is. See these little posters. I think that was it. Just that page and this. That. Those were my favorite pages. And again, the leather faux leather cover see cool okay here's another one good for old pictures this is a nice big book it's called the movies and especially it's kind of falling apart already as you can see but it's all about the movies and this is from around look at that it was forty dollars it says 1957 here um what does the copyright say inside but it's probably around from that time. Do you see it? I can't see it. Here we go. 1940, 1953 is the oldest. I mean, the, the most recent. Okay, so it's all about the movies. The birth of the movies from, like, the old, you know. And then the, the pages are so nice and thick. But there are so many just awesome. Still, look at that, Charlie Chaplin. So awesome. All through the early 50s. Look at that. Is that Grace Kelly? Mm, yep. So, oh my goodness, I don't know if I could tear this book up, but there's so many great images. Anyway, there, there you go. There you go hadn't looked through this completely myself I just kind of you know look enough to see if it's good for me to pick it up <laughs> okay there's that one then this one I just picked up from my collection I like to have some put out some Christmas books uh, during Christmas time and this is a golden book it is a little a bit vintage but it's in excellent excellent condition I would not want to tear this up 
Oh, it's not that vintage. It's 1988. But look what a beautiful, beautiful book. And Llama. <laughs> About a Christmas tree. The animals. It's just so precious. So this is from my personal collection. I'm not letting this one go. Because look at how beautiful it is to put out during Christmas time. Okay, so that's that. This one, I fully got with the intention to share it. It is uh, Family World Atlas. And I love Atlas pages, but I actually have um, enough right now. I, I bought another big Atlas that I'm going to be tearing up. This is a smaller one, but it still has great map pages. So, and, and even the, these index pages are awesome for collabing on. So... This one will definitely be one I share on my next live sale slash auction. So you can look forward to that. Okay. Then, this I will also be sharing. I wasn't sure if I still had my copy, but I love this. Um, now my dad gave me um, the uh, Reader's Digest, um, let's see, embroidery book. And I can't find it. I mean, I'm sure I would not have gotten rid of that. But I can't find it. I've been looking for it. But I, I thought I had picked one of these up before, and I did. And I did find that one, ironically. But So this one I will be sharing because uh, even though it's got great images, I'm not going to do, do anything with it right now. So look at that. That's cool. I mean, this is great for, like, um, Diane H. has made some domestic art journals, and um, it's got these great pictures here. Again, little bits, too. So that would be great to do something like that with. Along the same lines, there's Reader's Digest Back to Basics. And this one I'm probably going to keep in my collection to go along with that other one that my dad gave me. And this is all about doing things the old-fashioned way. Ooh. Oh, my goodness so tempting <laughs> so I think if I find another one like this I'll probably buy it to tear it up but this one I'm gonna keep this one and then the complete guide to sewing and I actually have a newer version of this in my collection so now I have to decide if I'm going to let this one go or the other one. Oh, this is so cool I'm gonna have to look at the one I have the new one and compare them and I think I'll probably end up keeping this one, but one of them will go. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Love these books. So, got those. Then, <clears throat> I found this hymnal, which um, I already have a hymnal in my collection that, you know, not for tearing up, but just for my collection. So, I thought this would be great. I've seen people using these hymnal pages in crafting because they're just such a great uh, size. So that's what this will be for. Because um, I am running a bit low on my music paper. So that's going to be that. Then I got a whole bunch. Is that it? No, okay. Here's another. Okay, there's some more. <laughs> this book I picked up um, to share because I just thought somebody might really really appreciate this It's just a little tiny book and if nobody wants it I mean I can always use it definitely but look how cool it's got all these color swatches um, and it is from 1965 and it's about window decorating but look at these images I love these color blocked images like this and there's tons of pages like that with these you know solid color images look even has that those pages like that so I thought that that might be a good one to share or to use myself and then I could not resist this Reader's Digest book such a beautiful cover there was another one there as well but I left it behind because it was really stained and I wasn't sure if it would clean up this one's a little dirty but I really love it and I am going to keep this one to make and um, altered book out of or um, just to rip it up and make it into a journal because um, and I love even the images and some of the images and uh, pages inside look at that 
but I look at that cover. I just love that cover. And um, I have one altered book that I started using this type of book that I have not finished, but I could not resist. Look how beautiful. I love dragonflies and butterflies. And, you know, this one is just so pretty. So that's for me. Then I couldn't pass this one up. It's a color therapy coloring book. Again, remember, I paid 40 cents for each of these. But I thought these are great because even though a few of the pages, maybe just a couple of the pages, actually haven't colored in. Where is that? I know I saw some colored in. Okay, just one, really? Just one page had been colored in. Wow. All of these other pages are just a great size to include as a large tag or even a page. Oh, this is part of the cutback. No. Look how cute these are. They're just nice to include in pockets, in journals, or even a fold, like some of these, you know? Like, you know, let's take, take this one right now. Like that one folded in half would even make a great card, you know? A journaling card or even like a greeting card. Because the paper is nice and thick as well. So, so should have folded it better, but... You know, you get the idea. I just could not pass this one up. It's like a lot of goodness to use in here. Okay. So that's the Color Therapy Adult Coloring Book. And this one I got to share also. I have a whole bunch of these Dover coloring books. I can never resist picking them up. They're so cool. They have the color guide here. And this one has a page or two that have been colored in. Let's see. But look at these beautiful drawings. The color in. Let's see which one's been colored in. I know that I saw a colored in one. But I have a lot of these Dover's books, like I was saying, because I could never resist picking them up. Here we go. But um, I am going to share these. So um, there you go. And there's the other page that's been colored in. Not too badly. Okay. So there's that one, and this is from, it's more recent, it's got a website and everything, but it's just a neat book. 1974 is a copyright, but I know that, I'm sure it was produced later than that, okay? Then this one I also got to share, because I already have plenty of this type of uh, images, but look how pretty, I can not resist again, I know somebody will love that. And it says, How to Grow Annuals, and it's just a soft cover. I even love that image right there. Oh my gosh. It's from 74. And look at these. Again, it's not that big, but look at these gorgeous pictures. They're a little glossy, but not too bad. And, uh, yeah. I just thought they would be cool for somebody... To use and if not of course I can always use them if nobody else wants it I can certainly make tags out of these uh, images so there you go then I found this Wizard of Oz and again I'm gonna share this one because I have um, like too many projects even though wouldn't that make an awesome just like vintage style Wizard of Oz journal look at that it's the new Wizard of Oz <laughs> new in the 1944 the most recent date is 1955 so yeah look at these cool black and white drawings I don't think there's any colors and drawings in here they're all like this yep neat so that is one I will be sharing in my next live sale that is so cute okay and then along the same lines of the Wizard of Oz I found these awesome little golden books and these are the these are the vintage ones from like the 60s I think let me see this is the Tin Woodman of Oz and oh this one hasn't been written and some of the others have names in there and the copyright for this one's 1952 and it is in really great shape this is the tin woodsman of oz so i'm definitely going to share that look at that back page 
Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to keep one of these. I don't know which one. There's that. And then airplanes. This looks like it's a little bit stained there. That could probably be wiped off. I'll try it with a baby wipe. I haven't tried to clean these yet. But this one's written in. It used to belong to Christopher and Blake. And just look at these vibrant colors in here. Definitely great for boys. <laughs> Just love it. Love it. Again, this one's from the 50s. 53. And then the Little Trapper. That one was Tom's. And this is also from... Oh, wow, 1949. Gosh, these are in such great shape. Look at the cute little animal pictures. A cute little boy. <laughs> these are awesome. And I actually priced these on, uh, let's see what they're going for. And they're going for approximately $10 each. But I'm going to, again, just start it at a dollar in my auction whenever I have it next. This one doesn't even have a name in there. Look at these. The little characters from the other stories in there Ben and me so cute <laughs> there you go and last but not least the item that I was most excited about is this book gift wraps by artist this is a book and it, it's everything is here. It was never used. I had a book like this before of gift wraps by artists by Etcher. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one other one I'll share at the end that I already put away. But <laughs> um, yeah. And, it, you know, he does the um, the almost like tessellation type drawings where, you know, they're all mixed together. And I've used that book up. I only have a few papers left. But look at these. These are gift wrapped, gift wrap papers that are the size, you know, four times the size of this cover. So you can actually gift wrap a present with them. But they are using these designs. And it talks about the designs in the front. And these are designs are taken from textiles. Look at these. There's two of each. Is that not beautiful? So this one I probably will hoard for a little while, but not too long because I want to use these pages in my journals and such. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably share pieces of these um, with my friends out there. haven't decided how yet, but aren't these just lovely? Just love these. So th this was definitely a score because these books, um, out you know, to, to buy them either on Etsy or eBay are a little bit pricey. But yeah, so I was so happy when I got this. If this is all I found, I would have been hil hilarious. <laughs> Super happy. <laughs> okay. And the last book I'm going to share because I forgot I had it is one for our for our personal collection that I've already put up with our superhero stuff because we're kind of superhero crazy around this house. Wonder Woman! Is this awesome? Look, it's in perfect shape. I mean, the dust jacket has a tiny tear in it, but it's like no biggie. And look at that. It's a Dorian Kindersley book, and it's Wonder Woman. It's all about Wonder Woman. And it's got like some of the old images in here and all her story and everything so yeah this is one we're gonna enjoy Ooh, looky looky the justice league okay yeah so that's for our first oh look at that that's for our personal collection and it was already on the shelf over there so yeah so i'm sorry i, I guess i did take a little bit of time on each of these books um which one was your favorite? Let me know. And if you're interested in uh, knowing when I will have my live sale, again, I have to work it out with my family, so 
I don't know. It'll most likely be on a Saturday morning, like my last one, early in the morning. The only other night I could have it would be on a Thursday night uh, right now. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else going on out there in YouTube land that night. But those would be the options, either a Thursday night or a Saturday morning. And um, I will uh, also be announcing a couple of things you can do to earn free shipping and also about absentee bidding. Uh, but I'll go into that when I actually announce the, um, the day that I'm going to have it, okay? But for now, let me know what was your favorite book and what would you do with it? Have a blessed day. Bye.